Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going to be reading some rules horror. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's go ahead and get right into this. Starting with the first story. Rules for the rest of your life. If you're reading this, know that you're no, oh, you're not safe anymore. Whatever you were just going on a walk or playing a nuclear attack, it has been angered and it won't stop now. These rules will apply from now to the rest of your life. To follow them, and it might just be a bit better. So good luck. Rule one, superseded by rule one point one. If at any point you see it, do not, I repeat, do not run from it. You can't outrun it. Instead, simply stand completely still if it looks at you. And hide when it stops. Rule 1.1 If it sees you and starts coming closer, run. Run as far and fast as possible. Stopping or slowing down or even for even a second means the end. Rule 2 Avoid being alone at the following times, 4.44 a.m. and p.m., 5.15 p.m., and 12 a.m. That's also known as midnight. This rule is more of a precaution to a necessary rule. Rule 3. If ever you're walking somewhere or in ever, one starts to look very familiar but at the same time creepy, then try to blend in and go to more secluded areas. Do not speak or interact with any of them. Rule 4. If any of these rules are, are broken, please break the container at the back with this paper. We'll collect your body in the morning. Rule 5. Never forget that it's still chasing you. No matter how much time has passed, a month, a year, ten years, doesn't matter. It's still chasing you and will continue to do so. Never forget. Rule 6. Its existence is your existence. If you die, it dies. You are linked this way. It is trying to kill you to break this link. If at any point it's almost able to kill, it's almost able to kill yourself. You don't survive either way, but this way no one else must suffer. Thank you for following the rules and do. Rule 7. Don't look behind you. Rules for the second of, of for the rest of your life, second edition. You wake up, just a normal day. You go through your routines, brushing your teeth, eating breakfast, showering, etc. You said to go out for lunch today. You leave at 4.30. And as you're going, you notice a piece of paper in your car. You pick it up. One day, you're gonna notice. It doesn't matter when or where, but it will happen. You could just be looking at your phone or eating a meal, but you'll see it, a shadow of what looks like an octopus fused with a human. And it will appear for only a second. But by then, it's too late. The rules have applied. Rule 1. Your home is no longer safe. You must not go back. To do so is suicide. Find a new secluded area. Some place that wouldn't draw much attention. However, it must have a secret bunker. That will be important later. That means goodbye to anything special. Rule 1a. Any pets at your house are already dead. The dog that may look at your back, don't let it. Rule 2. At this... This new home, you must wear a disguise every time you leave. Do not leave for more than half an hour a day. Along with this, every time you leave, you must wear a different disguise and go out through a different way. Rule 2a, if at any point you leave your house up for more than half an hour or let see your face, then run. Find somewhere to hide. Go to a different city, province, country, anything. Just don't let it catch you. If it does, it's better to kill yourself than to let it catch you. I'm going to need to just remind everyone that I do not condone suicide. Which this is going, which a lot of these rules seem to be a, a condoning right now. 
Rule 3. Always keep self-determination pills or a gun on you. If any rules are broken, it's better to use them to, um, to let it find you. Rule 4. If at any point during the day, the moon turns red along with a red tint, that's a blood night. Not to be confused with a blood moon. During these, you may not leave. You must hide in your bunker. There must be one week's worth of supplies in there. Rule 4a. You may leave when you hear a low, buzzing siren. Any other type, and you must not. In fact, hide yourself more. Rule 5. Its sense of smell is impeccable. If you ever get a cut, cover it immediately. The smell of your blood will alert it, and there will be no hope for you. Rule 6. If you ever open a door and there are mannequins in the room, Notice how they're placed. Rule 6a. If they're sitting in chairs and facing away from you, you're safe, and you may leave your house or stay out. It's under protection. Rule 6b. If they're sitting in chairs and facing towards you, refer to Rule 3. Rule 6c. If they're just on the floor, that means it's found you. Refer to Rule 2a. Rule 7. During the night times, you may not leave, and stay upwind of any windows. Don't enter their sight. If you do so, refer to Rule 3. Rule 8. Every few months, you must find a new house, a new shelter, and burn the old one down. This will throw it off of its scent and may ensure a longer life for you. In the event you take more than 6 months to do so, refer to Rule 3. Rule 9. Do not attempt to get any exorcisms or get blessed by a priest. That will only make it easier to find you. Rule 10. You won't survive more than 10 years. You become worried as to how someone planted this here, but out of the corner of your eye you see shadow of a person with tentacles, and you look at the time. 504. Security breach. I, I kind of expanded everything to see how long it would take to read it. That's why there's so many, because I knew they wouldn't take as long as I wanted them to. Anyway. No, this message was the last to be sent from Dot Octor Romanade and has re and redacted for your safety. Greetings, Agent A9032. We regret to inform you that in your sector at Redacted, there has been a breach and the Redacted has escaped. Until we can trace its location and bring it back, we have, implanted, we have implemented safety procedures for everyone to follow. Oh. Procedure 1. Eating at the sector will, will only be done in groups of 12. 12 only. Along with this, everyone must, must use their left hands. Hey, I'm left-handed. And food will be eaten using the wrong cutlery. I already did that already. Breaks to the rest to use the restroom will be built in, and everyone will be notified when they leave and return. If at any point you notice thirteen people, someone eating with their right hand, or some using the right cutlery, you must activate sequence ZZ4263 end. Procedure two. Nobody may enter room five fifteen until the entity returns. If you notice anyone entering that room, Activate sequence ZZ4263 end. Procedure 3. At every day from 0900 to 1600, everyone must take 15 minute sessions with Dr. Randall to ensure safety. During this time, anyone who is not on session will resume doing their work as usual. Procedure 4. These 15. Ni is JT kills all the end. Yeah, I can't read that. That's not that. That seems like a glitch. Procedure five. You don't suspect of being infected with a disease spread by redacted. Will be locked in the quarantine room, killed, and their body will be left to disintegrate. If this happens, please do not resist. We. 
they do not want to have to use the special method on their workers. Procedure 6. Flames will be avoided by all workers due to prior incidents. If you see any flames, please exit the room and destroy act Evade sequence B, room number 02. Sequence ZZ4263 end. This will be activated in specific cases above. To activate, please use the code redacted on redacted. This will destroy all the sectors of the institute and kill everyone related to it. Rule 7. There is no rule 4. If you ever see a rule 4, you have been infected and must return to your sector for quarantine. Thank you. RIP. Safety and tutorial for the night shift. 1. If you see something up, up on the cameras, report anomaly A on your left, D1 on the laptop. 2. Look closely and memorize things. The anomalies will change them. 3. If something goes wrong, there will be a warning. EXE Turtle Shadow has entered X room. Do not switch to the camera until fixed. If you see a figure in the corner of your room, please report using in your left D2 laptop. Do not attack the figure, it will not be hurt, but you might be. Do not listen to strange whispers. I see. Gaming rules. I think this is is this is basically it made by the same person who made the console rules that I didn't read last time. Gaming rules will ensure your safety while hopping on 2K and other games. When, if you hear three sniffs behind your chair, that's a, on something like like this pattern. Do not turn around. Focus on the game. If you hear tapping like a window tapping, relax in your chair for 10 minutes and seconds minimum. Floor tapping, keep your toes off of your floor. Screams, it is absolutely crucial that you focus on the game and on the game only. 3. If you hear wall scratching, refer to rule 1. 4. If you smell something unusual like socks, he's trying to lure you into sniffing more. Do not try to smell what's having that scent. 5. This is similar to Noir from WTTG2. If you see a figure about uh, 1 to 1.5 one meters away from your window, turn around to your monitor and focus on the game. Last rule, I've gotten this so many times and had to survive it. If your eye vision starts zooming in and your heart be racing and you hear screams and thoughts all the time in your mind, you have to act fast. This can also encounter in your sleep. Go to your toilet, look at the mirror for 3 seconds, and check for any facial features that seems to be off. If everything is clear, Wash your face, face and go back to gaming. B. If something is dislocated, uh, common examples are nose, ear, or jaw, turn off your computer or phone for at least one hour and try to go to sleep. You do not want to meet them. Stay safe, gamers, and please do not get dreadified. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, panic will also make everything worse, excluding Rule 6 reference. It is normal to be panicking. It is a panic attack. <sighs> rules for the intruder. There's a threat in town. To survive, to follow these rules. 1. Have security cameras in so you can look over the footage in the morning. 2. Don't stare at the intruder. It doesn't like that. 3. If you see a shadow in your room, it's here. 4. Don't attack it. You can't kill something that's already dead. 5. It's afraid of the light, so have a torch ready. 6. Keep all your windows locked and your bedroom door shut. 7. Keep still. It can sense movement. 8. If you have any pets, keep them locked up in their kennel. This one's a bit longer than the others, but it should be readable. Deep sea chemical extraction protocols and rules. You wave your uh, farewell to your family, your friends and family, as you and eleven other 
edge of the submarine for your six month work stay under the water. You all take a seat in the vessel as the crew member above you seals the hatch. The automatic controls also begin and, and you all submerge below the water to the extraction point, far out from the ter territorial waters of the nation. As a quiet it sets in, and as some crack into books, and others fall asleep. Suddenly, you are also are by an unlocked television near the front, with an out of, out of order sticker flashed on it. The sticker falls off of it, and on the static, a figure appears. It gets closer and greets you. Hello, welcome to your new job. We are ecstatic to welcome you to your mo six month stay at our deep sea station. If you are watching, you have already signed your NDAs. As the case, then we can proceed with your, with your instructions for your employment here. I would have you get on a set of rules and protocols for duration with us. Please pay attention to this video, as it will not be repeated. All eyes are on the screen as the figure begins. 1. If for any reason your employment with us is terminated, you will not be seated in your return trip. You do not want to miss that trip. 2. Your job will be to either extract the nectar using our state-of-the-art equipment or will be transporting the, the containers of the nectar from the submersible docking point to the surface station. Our station's docking point is uh, 10,645 feet below the surface. You will transport the nectar casing from the docking point to the upper area. At this point, you will hand over to the science department. Please use this area so the service lift is being maintained. If you are to extract the nectar, you and the team of four will be sent to with a 30,000 feet depth to harvest it from the egg sac. Beware of the mother and submersible malfunction. What is nectar? That is a good question. It is a redacted. That is extracted from the egg of the unknown species redacted. The product is treated, treated and sold off to our wealthy clients, such as redacted or redacted. The substance is highly addictive and causes an extreme redacted that will cause further cravings. To the extent of our current knowledge, it is a mechanism by the redacted to feed its redacted. The exact origin or creation process of nectar is unknown. 4. Your living will be provided in the provided room on the lower levels of the surface point. The station was previously an oil rig, and your room is part of the original structure. This may lead to minor leaking or structural failures due to the age and lack of building regulation at this point of the ocean. 5. On occasion, clients will visit the site. During this time, you and your fellow colleagues will be prohibited from exiting your quarters. We may terminate your employment with us if you exit unnecessarily. Six, emergency protocols depend on what type of emergency. If the siren and light color is in orange, then there is a fire taking place on top deck. We suggest that you do not go to the top deck during this time. Red alert, it is attacked and the bottom collection dock. If so, you are near the top deck, we need you to barricade the stairwell and lift the doors instantly. Your colleagues down there are no longer alive. Or if they are, then human. The power may go out. We need you to hold off until we can set up the evacuation protocol. Please remember that the armory on top deck should only be used in cases of emergency you like this. Our staff will be set into retrieving any nectropods from the hold. Priority for evacuation are the alliance scientists, then remaining staff. 7. We are not responsible for any harm or damage done to your body, nor any possible loss of life. 8. You are prohibited from breaking your NDA. We can tell if you plan on doing so. And the, in case your employment will be, be terminated with us. That's about it. Also, watch out for the thing on your way in and out. You all sit stunned at what you just watched. Television shuts down and turns itself off. 
For any of you could say anything, red colored or lion pad were the sirens that's playing at the top of the vessel. The Undergrove. Congratulations! If you are seeing this, you have become one of the lucky individuals who were selected to be part of the exposition of the Undergrove. With the objection it was the objective of taking pictures that bring back samples of the flora and fauna there. Now I know this could frighten you seeing as none of our other adventures into the other grove have been successful. Unless you got the people who returned but were too hard and mutated to speak or even part of be part of society. But this time we formulated set of rules to help you stay mostly safe on your voice voyage there. <clears throat> One, the fauna here isn't fast. They're strong, but you can easily outrun them. That's why they rely on deception to catch your prey. Stay constantly vigilant. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Just use your head and you'll be fine. Two, don't talk to anyone you recognize. It's not like you'll need to since everyone's got different objectives. But if you recognize someone with well, some past venture reported, it to have died, or even a fellow venture you, you have you come close with while waiting to be led into, into the undergrove. The weaker fun in the undergrove will wear the skin of past victims to distract venturers, while the stronger and more violent will sneak up behind you and kill you. So, to be safe, ignore any other humans you see, even if they're screaming for help. 3. When gathering samples of the flora, Make sure you're wearing the gloves and containing them in the special in the special containers we provided you. Due to their inability to move, the floor here has have adapted in a certain ways to deal with any predators. For example, the Nixie flowers secretes an acid that could burn through even your bones. <sighs> Four, make sure to take note of the color of the sky. The undergrowth doesn't have a sun or moon like we do, so the sky is the best way to determine what to do or when. This is what we've discovered. A deep blue sky means that everything is normal. Conduct your usual task as you usually would. Balance your examination of the flora and fauna. A furrowed sky means that the flora of the undergrowth is dormant, while the fauna is most active. Make sure you stay even more alert at this time. While it isn't likely that plants or flowers will harm you, still will follow protocol when collecting examples. A green sky means that the fauna will be sound asleep. While it's good to stay cautious, this is the best time to either sleep, if and take rest, or get pictures of the undergrowth stage as creatures. Five. Be careful when taking pictures. As mentioned before, a green sky is the best time to take pictures. However, you decide to sleep during this time, it may be a little more difficult. The creatures have excellent eyesight. They need to since the underground is so dark and filled with so many trees and plants. When taking pictures with the camera provided to you, make sure you're not seen by anything that can move and climb onto the highest tree in the area. Take your picture from up there. The fauna will not climb unless it is starving and thinks you are worth it. 6. We have gotten reports of friendly beings in the treetops that the predators of this realm are for some reason wary of. Therefore, if you are ever being chased or need to rest desperately, the treetops would be your best bet. Seven. When you receive a message to return, make sure you report to the green leaf tree. It is the only green leaf tree in the realm, so it should be relatively easy to locate. However, once you think you've found it, as a safety for 
It cautioned, make sure to pluck one of its leaves from the branches. If it retains its color, it is a pearl that will take you back. If it withers away, well, it's a particularly deceptive plant, and the portal in its trunk may not be pearl at all. Well, unless you mean it metaphorically. These are all of the safety precautions and to manage to put together from past expeditions. Beyond this point, you're on your own to figure out the ropes of the underground. For rest assured, whether you make it back alive or die in the hands of a terrifying beast, thanks to our state-of-the-art video broadcasting system, you are making a great contribution to our cause. You are doing your country a great service. Good luck! Upon reaching the door to the traveling plate like for my shift, a note was left. I carefully read through the page. If you are reading this, it means you have taken up guard duty at Fly Place, everyone's favorite traveling park. Before you begin your night here, allow me to give you some guidance and some guidelines to follow by. Make sure to keep all doors and possible entrances locked at all times. In the case of an emergency, contact me immediately. Follow up a specific pattern to check everybody of the park every hour. Start in the lobby, then go to the bathroom and the birthday rooms. After that, you can check anywhere else. Just start your rounds with those areas first. When doing your rounds, do not turn on any lights and stay as quiet as possible. At 12 a.m. midnight, you may or may not hear banging on the door in the freezer in the, from the kitchen. Ignore these sounds and do not check the freezer. They will stop shortly. At 12.55 before your first round through the building, don't let your guard down. At 1.30 a.m., check under the trampolines. If you smell anything, ignore it. At 2 a.m., you may hear very human-like sounds coming from the ceiling. Ignore them. Don't make any noise. Act like you aren't there. At 3 a.m., there are some earplugs in the drawer of your, your desk. Put them on before 3 a.m. Continue the rest of the night as normal. However, consider the following. Do not check in the freezer. Do not check in the ceiling tiles. Do not check the closets in the party room. They're always locked anyway. Do not check under the foam pit. Do not check anywhere beneath the dodgeball area. Do not check inside any ventilation systems, no matter how hot or cold it gets. I feel like I've read this before. Do not call the police in case you find anything strange. Call me instead. If you saw anything bad or strange at any time, ignore it. If you find any bugs like lying around, pick them up and dispose of them. They aren't real, I promise. Any rumors about people going missing here are not true. Thank you for taking up the shift. See you tomorrow. And that was Rules Horror. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!